Hi guys, it's Misty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a little late getting this video out, but I wanted to add it anyway. Um, I This is for my project for the Always Fun Challenges blog. The theme this week is Anything Goes. So I decided to take this opportunity to play around with my Distress Oxide inks. I haven't really had a chance to play with them yet, so um, I just recently saw a video by Jennifer McGuire where she used oxide inks and stencils and I'd never done that so I decided to um, give it a try. I don't have many of the colors or when I shot this I didn't I actually just got six more colors today that's how much I love these inks but um, yeah so I, I had a couple when I shot this so I just chose a couple colors that I thought would go well together and I thought the cracked pistachio and the broken china were colors that would look really well together. I have to tell you, I absolutely love Distress, Distress Oxide inks. Um, I have all the other Distress inks and I love those ones too, but these really are a category all on their own. Um, they just blend so nicely. And I've heard this before, but I'll say it again. Um, these inks are great for anyone who struggles with Distress inks and ink blending. These, um, yeah, th these inks just make it super easy to blend. Um, all right, so I'm using the Tim Holtz uh, Distress watercolor paper, and I just took the stencil and I spritzed it with water. I put it on my paper for, left it there for a couple minutes, and then uh, removed the stencil. And look how cool that looks. I mean, you can see it has kind of a chalky look to it, and that's that's the oxidation. So. It just gives it a really cool look. Um, it's just different than regular Distress Ink. So if you haven't tried Distress Oxide inks, I highly recommend them. They're a lot of fun. Um, all right, so I had so much fun making this one. And I, like I said, I was playing around with them. I kind of got it on a roll. So I made a couple other cards that I've included in this video as well. But I, I will add another color too. Um, but to finish this card, so I made the background and I went ahead and used this really fun dye from Neat and Tangled. Uh, it's called Awesome, obviously. Uh, it has a matching stamp set, which I use for the rest of the sentiment. But I really love these word dyes that have a matching shadow dye to go with it. So that's my new, um, my new favorite thing at the moment are these shadow dyes. So uh, I just cut the shadow out of vellum. And for this particular card, I wanted the background to uh, shine through, so I just used vellum on this one. I think white, I mean, uh, black would look really good too as a shadow, or white even. But I wasn't quite sure which way I wanted it to go, if I wanted it to be a vertical card or a horizontal card, so I played around with it for a little bit, figure out which way I wanted it, and it could have gone either way. That stencil is really fun. I really love that stencil. And I don't have many stencils. I know Simon Says Stamp has some really great ones lately. So I have um, I have a couple of those in my shopping cart for when I place my next order. But anyway, so I'm just gluing this down. I was going to pop it up on some craft foam. And I just, I don't know, I just wanted it to be a simple card. So I didn't. But I love this awesome stamp set. Um, I love this. It's a good day to be awesome. I think every day is a good day to be awesome, but I just, I thought it was a really fun kind of cheery card to make. So I should have made this card the day before for my, my kids. We had a football game on Saturday and unfortunately we did not win. So our little guys are, um, they need a win. We haven't won a game yet, but they keep trying. They're on. So my boy is um, 10. He just turned 10. And then his friend uh, that we have living with us right now is turning 10 in two days on Thursday. So they're on, it's called the Junior Cubs. They're, you know, it's a, I think it's a, it's a Pop Warner um, League. I think, I think they still call it that. But yeah, so we've had, I think three games and we haven't won yet. So we definitely need a win. My husband coaches them and, uh, you know, he's got so much football knowledge that he wants to share and it's, it's, you know, it's a young age. So anyway, I should have made them this card for the day before, give them some encouragement. 
We're going to win our next one, though. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. So I'm using the uh, clear Nuvo drops. And another thing I haven't really played around with, I just haven't had time to do anything lately that I want, you know, for myself. So I haven't played around with these Nuvo drops. Um, I wasn't brave enough to just put them on my cards. So I used the little um, clear droplets to figure out where I wanted them and then moved them out of the way and put the drops on. And final step here, I'm just going to add some Winka Stella to the awesome, give it a little sparkle, and that will complete card number one. So all that was was water on that stencil, and look how cool that looks. I just, I love what it, how this turned out. So since I loved it so much, um, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. You know, I should have said at the beginning of this, this video is rather long for me, so... If you want to just see how the cards turned out, just jump to the last couple seconds of this video and, and see how they turned out. But I I just kept playing, so I just kept recording. Um, but here's a close-up. I didn't know my camera was so close uh, when I was doing this, but it's I'm, I'm glad it was because then you can see how easy this ink goes on. I mean, it just it's just really smooth. And then the other color, yeah, see, then I realized that my camera was zoomed in and I, I zoomed out a bit, but... I kind of wish I would have let it uh, stay zoomed in. It just goes on so smooth. It really does. And then the, um, you know, the line between the two colors, it's the, the properties in this ink. It just, because it's a part dye ink and part pigment ink, um, it, you know, it goes right over the top of the color you had um, underneath it. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Watch a Tim Holtz video. <laughs> he explains it better than me. But anyway, so I've added a faded jeans. That's the darker blue. And I'm really glad I did. I love these colors together, these three colors. Every time I, I do ink blending, I say this. I, I say that I love these colors together and never tried these colors together and should have thought of it sooner. But yeah, I was kind of feeling the same way for this one. I'm just going to go back over it with the broken china and back with the cracked pistachio and just just trying to blend those two colors together. So look how cool that looks. Really great colors. It'd be a really cool um, ocean if if I have a like a wavy stencil, but that wasn't really where I wanted to go with these, so I didn't I didn't use that one. But it'd be a really good like ocean theme background too. So um, I made this stencil on my silhouette and wasn't quite sure how it was going to turn out because um, it's pretty um, delicate. There wasn't really much plastic to it or acetate or whatever. Um, so I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. It did turn out. I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And see how the, the cracked pistachio up at the top? You can't really see it too well at the top but um but I was okay with it because I knew I was going to put something over it so um <laughs> moving right along so I have another stencil here that I cut out with my silhouette and this one has more of the acetate so that means more of the water is going to get put down um so this one I was really excited to see how this was going to turn out so I'm doing the same process on all of these, just ink blending, spritzing it with water, um, laying it down carefully, and then putting a paper towel over the top to soak up any of the water that kind of, um, you know, squeezes out. So there it is. I love how these look. I love that that uh, chalky look to it. I don't know what better word to use, but it just kind of turns it like a milky white color. So I just um, took my heat gun to it a little bit and dried it out, and now I'm going to move on to finish these. I, I just, I made them really easy, pretty easy cards, so I don't have any, I don't have a stash of cards. I keep doing craft fairs, and I know a lot of people have, like, you know, boxes of pre-made cards, but I do not. I wish I did. So the more I make, the better. I just like having some on hand. So I'm using the, uh, well, you can see it there, Simon Says Stamp, Love Stamp Set and Die. And again, I'm using it with the, the Shadow Die as well. 
on these intricate word dies, I always use my two-way glue pen, that Zig two-way glue pen. It's perfect for um, dies like this, really intricate, you know, dies. I chose to use the, um, so it says, love you always, this little stamp says you always. Uh, it was either that or I was going to use the, um, where I was going to say love is all we need. I liked that one too, but went ahead and chose to do this small one because I wanted it to be small. I wanted it to, you know, to cut it pretty small and put it on there. So this was perfect for that. All right. Um, it looks like I, d I didn't just finish one and move on to the next. I kind of did these ones together. So this one turned out to be my favorite one. Uh, it was my favorite background and my, I love the big hug sentiment. That's, um, Oh, I just thought it was really cool. So just using my ATG to um, glue these down. And with vellum, I liked it too on the vellum because the sentiment was big enough for me to put glue on it, to stick it to the background. There just really isn't a glue or there isn't one that I've come across yet that you can use on vellum that you cannot see um, you know, you can't see it on the other side. They have, um, two way glue, um, runners that say you can use it. It's made for vellum, but I, you can still see through it. So I like this cause I could put uh, lots of glue on the back. And then I left a little bit of space at the bottom there so that I could, um, put some twine around it and that would hold down the bottom so that the bottom doesn't, you know, end up rolling or anything or um, catching on something and lifting up. I guess rolling isn't the right word, but you know what I mean? Like catching on something. That would be disastrous. All right, so I'm getting better at my, my little bows here. I thought the black and white twine was the perfect... Um, Perfect embellishment to add to the bottom of this. And I always put a little mini glue dot behind my bows so that they don't, that way they don't come untied. Usually I fold it in half on, um, on bows like this, I'll fold it in half so that you can't, you know, so it doesn't stick up, up, doesn't show. And then since I added it to the other two, or I'm going to add it to the other two, I'm going to put some of the Nouveau drops on this again. Still not brave enough, so I still use the uh, little clear droplets to figure out where I wanted them. One of these days I'll be brave enough and just start putting them on, but I always move them, so this was a this is an easy way. It's kind of like training wheels for me. And then this came in one of the card kits. I can't remember which one it was, but it's just strips of um, foam adhesive. So I took two of them. It was the perfect size for this little part of the sentiment and popped it up a little bit. And this one I decided to do a dark gray um, border instead of a black one. I don't know. I like it. I think it softens it up a little bit or something. I don't know. I well, it worked out good because then I'm going to add uh, white and silver twine here. So that dark gray was perfect for this. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted it. At first I had it three rows, um, straight, even rows. And then I decided I like it, liked it like this, kind of um, overlapping each other. So I'm just using my stamp runner to, to tape those down. Yeah, I liked it like that. And once again, I guess I, pr uh, I don't know. This is, this is how I'm going to do it. Just like I said, I always move them around. So works for me. And those are all three of them. I have like a little series here, all the same colors, but yeah, that big hugs was my favorite. 
So anyway, so I made these uh, again for the Always Fun Challenges blog. I'll have a link to it in the, the description below. And um, you can always head over to my blog for more info and more details on all the products I used. And I'll also have a link to the Jennifer McGuire video that inspired uh, me to try this little technique. But um, yes, please head over to the Always Fun Challenges blog and either participate or check out all the uh, beautiful cards that get entered every week. And here are just a couple pictures of the cards that I made. So thank you so much for watching and hanging in there. I'll see you next time. Bye.